The World Baseball Challenge is swinging for the fences when it comes to sponsorship dollars. If officials don't raise enough money by next week, the event could strike out. This somber setting was fitting for the bad news facing the World Baseball Challenge Committee. The question came up on Monday night was, do we just cancel it? That's the stark reality for the WBC committee. They need to raise cash and sponsors by next week, or it could be called off. The gap's probably going to be in the sixty to sixty-five thousand dollar range. Um, as a matter of fact, costs just went up a little bit more in the last twenty-four hours because of some uh, booking challenges that we've got with one of the teams, and uh, so so that's why the urgency to try and come to a conclusion whether we're going to make this go or not by Tuesday. There is still no marquee sponsor, and there is a number of reasons for that including the weather last time. For 2011, very much on track to have the same kind of quality event and it just rained every single day and it made it very, very challenging for the organizers and the volunteers to be able to become a self-sustaining event and have the kind of ticket sales that they need to be able to move into the 2013 season and be able to produce the same kind of events. With the Canada Winter Games also pulling in sponsorship dollars, local businesses are already stretched thin. Number one, it's down just a little bit because there's so many asks out there for corporate dollars that co some companies have had trouble re-upping. But we still had great support. It's just costs have gone up. Uh, we've tried to be as uh, lean as possible on the budgeting side, but we still have that gap to make up. That's uh, the reason we're here. Even the city, in the midst of a core review, pitched in $10,000. City Council certainly sees the economic spin-off and the benefits for this community uh, in this event, uh, as we do for many, many things, but we haven't been in a position in the past to be able to really throw too many more dollars behind uh, an event, and so with this one it was a difficult decision for Council, but ultimately through the conversation a unanimous one. If the event can raise the necessary money in time, big teams like Cuba and the United States will take the field in Prince George. If not, the dugout will stay empty. Kelly Lonahan, CKPG News.